Welcome back to Protein, guys. Today we have Aguila 0.22 Interceptor, copper washed or copper plated 22 flat points. We're gonna do a 50 yard ammo test with my CZ 457 LRP in stock configuration other than the Timmy trigger. We've got a little bit of wind, nothing to complain about. I'll put the values up now. It's nice and warm out. Put those values up now too. And all we have to do now is shoot the test. Let's get going. So welcome back to my range again, guys. Today we're shooting Aguila 0.22 Interceptor. These are rated as long rifle, high velocity, solid point. So it's like a copper wash or copper plated 22 high velocity. It's not saying anything about match, but that's okay. We're gonna shoot it in a match chamber in my CZ 457 LRP. And let's just see how it does at 50 yards. See if it's worth the money. And that kind of money is $12.99. So it's more expensive than last week's uh, match competition, rifle match competition by Aguila, which didn't work out so well. It was showing promise, but didn't work out. And that was $8.99, I believe. So $9 a box, this is 13 a box. So we're up there with the SK, I think it was SK Rifle Match, the red box, same price. So we'll see if we get the same results. I doubt we will, but we're gonna get all the chronograph data with my Magneto Speed chronograph. That's not attached to the barrel, it's on the mount. And we're gonna do 20 shots at the target. That target down there too, I don't know what happened. If my printer screwed up or something or it, it resized it but I went to the dayatrange.com and I didn't click on the Z challenge target. I check, I clicked on the other one. And when I printed it off, it's, it's way scaled down. So I'll show you right now what the actual size of those squares are. So we'll have to ignore that it's, it's not an inch circle or nothing like that. It's what it is, but we're still gonna use the same target because it works. I use the calipers to calibrate it anyways the program i use to get my targets measured so everything will be fine just that that is not one inch squares just so you know because it's going to look like the groups are huge they might be huge too who knows because this is not match ammunition it's supersonic and it's not made to be match ammunition so i'm done making up excuses here you guys know the wind you guys know the weather you guys know the gun you know that it shoots and it shoots SK very well. Everything else, so-so. But let's get through the ciders and fowlers. So we're gonna shoot 20 of those and then we're gonna do our four or five shot groups. The plane going over, a little bit of background noise. We're gonna ditch these glasses. Hopefully the hat doesn't get in the way because I have the earmuffs on. And it is what it is, so get comfortable behind the rifle, good solid natural point of aim. And we're ready to shoot, here we go. Wow, that's loud. And we're just about two mils high. So I guess I'll just shoot five there and then I'll dial down. Oh, is that ever loud? And is it, is it, it's all over the place. We've already got a mil and a half of spread horizontally. It's coming back in now a bit, but we're still about three quarter mil high. And we totally screwed up our first target. So I'm gonna dial down, I guess seven clicks. 
and we'll go we'll pull probably five I guess and we'll try to hit the center now actually grouping not too bad for what it seems like it's doing I don't know it's really loud and it seems really fast and there's felt recoil so I'm not sure what we're getting for velocities you guys probably already know it by now I'll see it after when I start editing but it's doing something so I'm gonna take one click off I'm gonna push it left one click and let's get 10 more shots of fouling in and then get to the groups. There we go, our 20 fowlers out of the way. I ruined my first target, so I'm gonna shoot the corner, top corner of the paper, the edge there. That will be my aim point for the first five shot group. But man, this stuff is feeling very hot, very hot. So it's intercepting something and it's gonna be intercepting my target. Hopefully it doesn't intercept my camera. Anyway, back to it. Five on the top, top left corner. Here we go. Perfect shot. Another perfect shot. Hopefully they're all going in that same hole. I don't think they are. Okay. Obviously I had a couple drop by the looks of it, but three are right where I was aiming. So that's looking pretty good actually. This stuff seems super hot, but it's, it's working. I don't know if the magneto speed's picking it up. I hope it is because that stuff is smoking along. But let's go to group number two for five, top right. Let's do it guys. Man, that stuff is hot. I'm super curious to know how fast it's going. But wow, it seems to be pretty accurate as well. Well, we're looking, it's about a 0.8 down there from what I can see, considering those squares aren't an inch. Anyway, group number three, bottom right. go 
I find you have to shoot this more like a like a center fire rifle. You got to pull it into your shoulder. Normally, when I'm shooting 22, it's kind of just resting here, but I'm actually pulling this in to keep it keep my rifle because there's enough recoil that it jumps off target. Interesting. Here we go. So that looks like three in the same hole to me. And that looks like about a 0.7 inch group. I don't even know what to think about this stuff. I'm pretty impressed of, it's shooting kind of like CCI velocitors or uh, stingers kind of, but they're heavier and you can actually feel the recoil. Like it actually, there's a bit of recoil on the rifle. It's crazy. Anyway, group number four. Let's get it. Wow, well, pretty cool stuff. I might pick up a few more boxes just because, like that's pretty crazy. I wonder what this would do at longer ranges. I'm kind of curious now. Maybe I'll take it out to 200 yards, see if it holds together and maybe it'll fly apart because it is a supersonic ammo, obviously, by the sound here. I can, and the recoil, it's a 40 grain bullet. It's almost kicking like a 223. So, obviously not 223, but crazy. Yeah, well, I'll put the chronograph data up now so you guys can check out those numbers. I'm very curious to see what the numbers are. And if you haven't already and liked the video, comment, let me know what you think about this stuff. Share the video with your friends. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out. We're starting to grow. We're almost at 10,000. At 10,000 subs, I'm going to do a giveaway, a bunch of stickers, maybe some rear bags, maybe one of these bipods from the bipod factory. We'll see. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care.